or I hope you are having a good day. But before we dive into our presentation, I want to tell you a little backstory about myself. When I was growing up, I had this idea that I have to be doctor or engineer to be successful in life. I didn't know any better until I got into high school. And then, guess what happened? All the doors opened up. Everything was jumping at me and I was confused and I was like, I don't know what to do now because there's so much I wanted to do and I also wanted to make my parents proud. I wanted to be the golden girl. But then I realized that at the end of the day, it's about my life, not my parents' life. It's about what helped me succeed in life. And I know you're struggling with the same kind of idea, but let me tell you, you have made a great decision by coming to N Square Consulting to get a path to where you belong. We want to see you succeed. Because I know you're just in high school, but age is just a number, right? All right, let's get into our pop culture presentation. Let's look at our agenda first. We will be going over our problem statement, our analysis, financial analysis, situational analysis. We will be going over our decision criteria, alternatives, recommendation, implementation. And with that, we will be providing risk and mitigation. And we will conclude the whole presentation by the end so you don't get too overwhelmed. And we will also have question period. All right, let's get to a problem statement. Our primary problem is, what path is yours? Do you want to go into university and learn more and pay so much money to learn what you're already right now applying? Or do you want to step up into your pop culture business that you have already opened? You're only 18. And let's look at our secondary problem. How can we improve your monthly budget? How can we improve your budget? Now let's look at our Let's look at who you are. You're 18 year old in high school. You're from Camaros, Alberta. You're a people person. That's what's common between us. You love social gathering. You love going networking with people. And that makes you a great businessman. You're business savvy. You love everything about business. And that's why when you saw the opportunity of that popcorn business, you took it. And now look at your success. This is amazing because you're so passionate about what you're doing. And we realize that no matter if you're cooking with your mother or you're playing a basketball game or a game for your school, no matter what you do, and if you love it, you put your 150% in. And that's why you are so successful in high school only. And that all summarized into one word that describes you the most. You're a perfectionist. Do everything perfect. Now, let's look at our situation that we're in. You are the golden boy. So let's see what we can do to make it uh, more perfect. First, we're going to look at how can we improve your budget. And our second short-term problem is what path do we want to take? Do we want to go and go full-time into pop culture business? Or do we want to go into university? With long-term, whichever decision we decide to go with, if we decide to go with pop culture, we will be looking at how to improve your already successful business. How can you take it to the next level? And if we decide to go with the university path, we're going to look at how does that look like. Now we're going to look at our finance. First, let's look at your finance. Your total income is $625. Your total expense is $600. With that, you have $25 surplus, but you are so smart. Told you already, you're a golden boy, you're a smart boy. That you put that into a TFSA account, which has 2% interest in it. So now, uh, in those four years, you have $5,000 sitting in that account. That's amazing. Now let's look at your pop culture business. Your last year report shows that your net income was $30,000. That's impressive. That is very impressive. Congratulations on that. But after all the expensive and all the goods that you, the money goes on, you are leaving with zero net profit and net income. All right, now let's look at how can we solve your problems? 
But before we go into that, we're going to talk about what's important to you. What decisions are in your head when you look at everything that you do? First, is are you passionate about it? Second, are, are you, is that helping you succeeding in your goals? Second, stability. Now I'm going to pass it on to my friend Noah to explain our alternatives. So our first alternative is don't play yourself. Don't play yourself implies that you will be going to university while working with your business. There's one main problem to this. You will be going to university in BC, which makes it very hard to transfer your business from Alberta to BC. Our next alternative, parent trap. You will go to university and you will continue pop culture after you are done university. You will have the scholarship, but this is what your parents want. And back to what Noor said, you are living your life and not your parents. Now our third alternative, go big or go home. You will be pursuing your passion and succeeding your dreams. While doing this, you, we will create you a plan to manage your money. The pros to this is you are very passionate about your company. The industry is also booming as it is a $7.8 billion industry right now. You can also pursue university later as it is not going anywhere, but your business is. The cons to this is it is somewhat risky and you'd lose that scholarship. Now our decision matrix. Don't play yourself got a total score of 5 with a very low score on stability. Paratrap had a score of 6 with low score on goals. And Go Bigger Go Home had a total score of 12 out of 15 with a very high passion rate or passion rating and a very high goals rating. Now for our recommendation, we recommend that you go big or go home. You will pursue your entrepreneurial dreams and you will look for potential investment from other companies. You can pursue university later in your life as it is not going anywhere. You are also investing savings in pop culture which will help you grow your business. And you will increase your TFSA payments so you will have more money in the long run. I'll now pass it on to Shirley for our financial analysis. Or, thank, thank you Noah for the recommendation. We have a dream, we have a plan. Now we are moving on to recommendations. So first, phase one, before graduation. First thing first, we want to decline your university offer and cancel your scholarship. That must sound a little bit sad, but we have more exciting things in our life to do, so we gotta move on. So the first thing we gotta do is open a GoFound account, GoFoundMe account, which is a website, it's really easy to use. You're gonna start a fundraising campaign on there, you share with your friends, you share with your families, and even strangers might share some similar interests as you. So the projected donation will be $2,500. And at the same time, you're also looking for an investor or business partner. As you're currently starting up your business, you need someone to support you, also support you financially. So the projected founding that we estimate is $7,500. So phase two, saving for investments. In order to reach our goals, we, you're gonna sacrifice yourself a little bit. So we're gonna cut down some expenses, but it's not scary at all. Let's look at this. So the first one is entertainment and food. We reduce it to $100, which means cup of cups of coffees and gifts. We reduce it to $30, which means you're gonna find more creative ways to find a gift for your family or your girlfriend. And that gives you extra surplus of $80. With that money, we'll put that into your TVSA account. So now you have $5,000. Monthly payment, we increase it to $105. In three years, it will grow to $10,000. Still in phase two. Um, so we're gonna take the $2,000 out from your TFSA and invest in pop culture. As we know it nowadays, the mobile ordering and delivery technology is really popular. It increases your efficiency of your business. So we don't want to wait for three years. We we'll want to take the opportunity right now. So we're gonna put $1,000 into um, the delivery, de development, developing the delivery technology, and also $1,000 in equipment. And moving on to phase three. So applying for grant. So as we know, you need $30,000. And right now, we still need $10,000, the capital for your investments. So there are two options that you can consider. The first one is Canadian Small Business Financing Loan, which is offered by government to support local businesses. 
So the loan amount can go up to $1 million. And the second benefit is the monthly repayment. You can, um, the frequency with the tricep terms is up to maximum of 10 years. So you can pay it in five years or leave it to 10 years. And after working full time for pop culture, your projected sales will be $60,000. So you will save that in your retained earning account, which means reinvestment in your business. And after all of this, you might want to hire employees and work part time. And with that, you can apply for universities. And now I would like to pass on to Newer to talk about the risk and mitigation. Thank you, Shirley. Amazing implementation plan. But with that plan, there are two risks that we're facing. With business, there's always a possibility of failure. But with that, we recommend you to review. If that happens, we recommend you to review your finance reports and see where did you go wrong? What mistake led you to go a step back? And that mistake, we're going to improve on that and see where we, be, where we go from there. Second is say, I know we cut down some expenses, get it. But so with that, you might get some shopping records. Once you're in a mall, I know, prices gets you. And all those amazing, luxurious things that you see, they, they get you, same as Sephora, that happens to me too. But then you have to remember that this is a temporary change. Once you're, you're such, in, such a booming industry already, once your business is like on the top, like to another level, you can go buy whatever. Then you can buy your girlfriend better than something better than flowers and chocolates. With that, let's conclude our presentation. We began our presentation with the question of which path is best for you? Which role leads you to success? And both are very charming, but the one that just sticks there, that we know is the one, is going with pop culture. I know that family is very important to you, but you have to take a calculated risk because life is not about just planning everything and going with that plan. There's going to be things just coming at you. Now that you're out of high school, life is going to hit you. But you know what you're going to say? You're going to be like, yo, I got this protective shield in front of me. No one can touch this. No one can touch this. And that's what you have to say. And that's why we recommended you to go with pop culture because university is always there. There's no age limit to go to university. We're saying go into your business, be successful, then go to university. Because then you know what the prof is talking about. Instead of just cramming on essays, you can actually relate to those essays. You can answer those questions from heart. And the other secondary problem that we were facing was how can you improve your budget? And we said, we're going to cut down just a little. Entertainment from $100 to $6, $160, we cut it down to $100. We cut just a little from gifts. We cut just a little from clothes. Those are temporary changes. Those are not, they're permanently. And with those little changes, just dollars, like cents changes, it gives you more surplus, which allows you to put more in TFSA account, which gives you more money back once you need it. So let's think about this. This is your life. This is your dream. You're passionate about this. Trust me, no one can take that passion away from you. And once you put your 150% in it, success is right there. You have to shake your hand. And that's the end. So if you have any questions, we would love to answer. That was very good. Thank you very much. So, so I'm all over here, right? Yes. Okay. So, so should I still go to university later? And and how how do I pay for it when I want to go later? And then what what happens to the business if I do want to go later? All right. Good question. We did thought that you're gonna answer that. So yes, we're recommending you to go after. And uh, I know the scholarship is going to go away, but that TFSA account is gonna come in handy. Anything happens to business, it's, right now we're for sure that it's going to succeed, but anything happens, you have university as your plan B, right? So we're saying that you take some money out from TFSA account and go to university or you can take loans, government loans, those are also very helpful. And it's just that you, because it's booming industry, right? And you already know this and you're so passionate about it, 
So yes, we recommend you to go again there. What was your second question? Is is so if I want to go to university yeah. in five years or whenever it is, what do I do about the business then? Am I in the same spot? You, no, you're actually going to increase, and with that, uh, you're going to hire some employees. Manager, why do you think manager is there to? take in charge once you're not there. You're going to be looking at the big picture and then you're going to hire some intelligent people, same as you, that have the same goal, that has the same mission. You're going to hire those people to help your business succeed. So you're just going to take four years off. Just going to, You're still going to be looking at your business for like weekly, just like you're doing now. We have school, but you're still going to weekly to your, uh, weekly to your business to see how's that going. Same as you're going to do in a couple of years. It's not going to change. And those employees are going to make sure that business it stays as it is. So if you, if you were down the business road, um, obviously your parents would be a little frustrated, etc. Is there any risk though that they would um, not be supporting the business and they can maybe possibly move out? Or would you be back to that at all? Or are we one of the assumptions you'd stay at home, etc. and live with your parents still? So we found that his relationship with his parents is actually quite good. Other than, other than him not going to university, we feel that his parents will, will keep him in his house and continue with the $100 rent that he pays. The other, the other risk too is just, you feel he's going to have a very narrow focus and he's in a small, he's in a small town Alberta, there's a chance to go to university and expand a bit. I don't need, you know, you want to go to university after so you can apply, that makes a lot of sense to me. But do you, do you worry though that he might get too caught up in what he's doing? And maybe he doesn't even love it. He's only 17 years old. He doesn't realize what he actually loves. Is that so? Is that kind of something you factor into that equation? Um, as we see here, he has really strong passion about popcorn uh, business, right? And there are many opportunities for him to expand the business. So actually, there are lots of stuff that he has to do over the four years. My question was a little bit similar. I was just wanting to understand that decision criteria better. Good passion, goals, and stability, and and how you came up with those numbers and why you really felt like the business was the way to go. Um, if you can the, jump that slide, come on. Yes, yeah, just jump the slide. Yeah, for sure. I don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in detail. Just said I kind of a high level. Yeah. All right. So if we look at the slide, we total them out of five, as we mentioned before, as fifteen. So if you look at the number, passion. Top, right? Goals, like you want to succeed in, in your life and you might want to travel a little. With that, there's a lot of money in that area as well. You're getting income and you're saving more. There's a higher chance of you succeeding in your goal. And stability, if this business goes to a three level up, you can, you're going to be a grandpa and this business is still going to be booming. And your kids, you can pass this business to your kids, your grandkids, and this is a whole generation. This is a big picture, not even a small. So that's what we thought, go go big or go home. Even though it's not CG, you're going big or you're going home, right? All the other, we decided not to go with parent trap because you're not happy. Even if you're in university, you're learning what, what you're going to do when you're out of university, right? But you're already doing it in real life. And then once you go back, then you're understanding more because education is important. But you need to understand the education part, right? And then don't play yourself. If you're going to do both things, let's be honest, you're going to exhaust yourself. And you're not going to put your 120%. You're the golden boy, right? You do everything perfect. You're the perfectionist. So you're going to be disciplining yourself. And we don't want that. We want to see you succeed. Thank you. OK, that concludes our presentation. <laughs>